Why are you barking at me, little doggy? Why are you barking at me? <laughs> hey guys, Masina here, and welcome back to episode of Book of Time 3D Master Quest. In the last episode, we arrived here at Hyrule Castle Town and found something incredibly amiss. And we also tossed our old ocarina for the ocarina of time. So that happened. I'm sorry, Saria, but this one's prettier. But anyway, we're going to kick things off by coming in here into the Happy Mask Shop and finally getting a new mask. Oh great, you sold it, it referring to the spooky mask I think it was. Please pay, please pay me back 30 move. Oh yeah, he just says spooky. Oh shoot, I'm poor! Oh shoot, I'm poor, I forgot! Oh, I just got terrified. I just got terrified. Well, I need to go make a couple more rupees. Hang on a moment. Yeah, I totally forgot to get money, so now we have enough. There you go, payment received. He's not evil right now. All right, and with that, we are going to get the bunny hood. Price, 50 rupees. All right, so we're gonna borrow this and find someone who wants it. Now, the bunny hood is actually kind of special. It is very special in that if we go outside, I'm just gonna go ahead and run past everyone. Actually, does anyone say anything worthwhile with this? Like, sometimes they have, like, really funny text. Oh, oh, rabbit! Speaking of rabbits, I saw a strange man chase- Oh, well, that's a hint as to who wants this mask. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing really funny. Yeah, it's just a hint. Alright. They're just telling you, like, who might want the mask. I already know who it is, but we're going to try and demonstrate what this mask can actually do first. Now, our next stop is Lon Lon Ranch, but if we go ahead and play the sun song... Come on, there we go. The sun song and make it nighttime. Now, as you guys know, the stall children come out at night and pretty much bother you when you're out on the main field. Like, they're pretty much everywhere. Except for right now when I clearly want to demonstrate something. Um, guys. Guys, like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to show something off here. I'm trying to show something off here. Here we go. Now, these guys normally show up, right? Right? With the bunny hood, they actually will not spawn, which is pretty interesting. So, oh, oh, it bobs! Oh, look at that little bob! It like, it like does a little boingy boingy. Oh, that's adorable! That's adorable! I love the bunny hood, by the way. I wish I had a bunny hood in real life. I'd probably wear it everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but still. I would love to have a bunny hood. So yeah, so long as you have the bunny hood on, the stall children will not spawn. So that's pretty useful in and of itself if you're lazy and don't want to play the sun song. Or you just don't want to deal with them, or you're scared of them. Quite frankly, when I was a kid, I used to be terrified of the stall children. So I would always make sure that it was daylight out whenever I wanted to actually, like, run around the main world. So that's, that's pretty useful. Now, as for stuff that we need to backtrack for, there is a Skulltula up there. I found out how to aim the boomerang. What you need to do, you need to make your target fall pretty much right on your face. See? The aiming point is right on Link's face, so that's really, really nifty to keep in mind. I could never get used to that weird hitbox. It has this really, really awkward hitbox where it's just like... I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Now, which way is the is the thing? Is it that way or is it this way? I'm gonna say this way. If I'm wrong, if I am wrong, I will probably kick myself. That that would take talent, but I will, I will kick myself. Um, alright, let's see. Go around this bend. And I was right! I do not need to kick myself. My butt is saved. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and run right on up to it. Uh, I hear you. No, sir! You get a pellet to the face, and I get 20 rupees out of them. Wow! Um, do they normally drop 20 rupees? I don't think they do. It's pretty impressive. Um, there we go. Yeah! Z target! Alright, uh, okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do for Lon Lon Ranch. Quite frankly, there were only two extra Skulltulas in here that we needed to get. Oh! Oh, 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 this is interesting! By the way, speaking of the boomerang, yeah, I'm just giving nifty tips and tricks left and right here. Speaking of the boomerang, I learned that it's actually a little bit different from the original Ocarina of Time. It's programmed slightly different.
differently. So, in the original, when you throw the boomerang, you would have to wait for it to come all the way back around to you to be able to, like, do anything else. And it has that weird pseudo Z-target lock thing on, right? Well, in this version, I'm gonna go ahead, no, I'm gonna go out where it's like, where it's like wide everywhere. In this version, pop on the bunny hood so I don't get bothered, don't get bothered away with you. There we go. If we do this, if you spam the button, it comes back to you immediately. So there's no waiting, no like struggling with the pseudo, pseudo, um, uh, did I say Z target before? I meant, I meant L target in this version, but still. So you know what I mean. It doesn't do that whole thing now, so you can immediately call it back. I love that. I absolutely love that, and it's very, very, very helpful. Now, as for the bunny hood, we have to talk to this guy. Now, he will not show up unless you have the third spiritual stone and the bunny hood. So make sure you have both of them in your inventory, question mark, if you want to talk to him. Now, talk to me! Gosh, I'm trying to... Guy. Guy. Hey, man. Hey, man. I want to talk to you. 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 Yes, I'm like this obnoxious when I want to talk to someone and they're ignoring me. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You can just picture me just like following someone around, just like circling them, staring into their eyes. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you constantly. And and we have to wait until he, he actually wants to talk because he's not having any of it right now. All right. Well, whoa, P-Hat, way up there. What is it doing? Uh, guy, guy, that might not be a good way to go. Just saying, just saying, that this probably is not the smartest thing. Probably. Maybe? Second thoughts? Perhaps it's spawning babies. It's spawning babies, sir. You might want to leave. Yes, yes, go this way. Go this way. Uh, no, baby's coming. Baby's coming. Babies want to chop your head off. Why are you not running faster? Holy crap! No, get the frick away from me! No, no, no! How do I, how do I, how to beat, how to beat? Behate larva, defend- I'm supposed to just defend against these guys? How do I kill them? I actually never fought these before! Get away from me! No! No! Away with you! No, seriously, like, how? How? Guy! Guy! You are just like- You are just- You're- That is like P-Hat! P-Hat, like- layer over here and you're just having none of it. You're just going straight into the, into the pea hat den. Will these things stop following me? Please. I do not want my head to get chopped off. Um, 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 I am very unnerved right now. You are, you are just, you are just, you, sir, are just, wait, how, how did they, how did they, do they have to hit the ground to die? Holy crap, lawnmower. Holy crap, one more. Okay, we can go now, sir. I can talk to you, right? Right? You just dragged me through, like, freaking hell and back, and you are not talking to me in the slightest. Is something wrong with you? Is there something wrong with you? Are you tunnel visioning right now? Are you even there in the head? I'm, like, angry. Find a freaking link! Wait, did he just need it to be nighttime? Did I just need to play the sun song all this time? If so, I'm an idiot, and I probably deserve everything that he put me through. Anyway, so, we can talk to him, finally. I bet with those long ears, you could even hear vo the voices of spirits. Oh, they're, they, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend, because rabbits are animals of legend, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right, the legend of rabbit, Ocarina of Time. I don't care how expensive it is, please sell it to me. Well, he's pretty desperate, so let's go ahead and give it to him. My lifelong dream! He is seizuring, returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been united. He's kind of nuts. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount for it. More money than you can count. Yeah, he will basically fill your entire wallet. Your entire wallet should be filled. It's pretty nuts. He must be rich or something because that's a little bit crazy. I bet nobody is faster than I am now, but I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Aww. That's, that's a little depressing. And the, the way he's wearing it, can you, can you even see? Can you even see, mister? 
Look at that. He, he ha he's wearing it over his eyes, and that clearly has no eye holes. Alright, well, he is a strained one indeed. I don't think I want to... I want to associate myself with him, and I no longer have the bunny hood, so these stall children are going to be bothering me. Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic. Alright, so, now that we have done all of that, and finally gotten rid of that stupid bunny hood, we have to head back to the Happy Mask Shop to pay back the mask salesman, and thankfully I'm not poor right now, so let's go ahead and do that. And here we are again with our full pockets. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. We are not quite so full pockets. All right, all the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and wiser. And is this an innuendo? Is this an innuendo? Is he like saying, Oh, you you need to grow a little bit older before I tell you what people think about young sir. Ho ho ho! Oh my. Oh my. I'm getting like images of, of little baby Link going around and seeing like, seeing like weird hentai images or something in people's minds. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Mask of Truth, a mysterious mask of the Sheikah. It is said to re reveal truths to the wearer. Now, this mask is actually kind of useful. It does give you a couple of things a little bit down the line, which we will be going and getting. So, we'll just hang tight on that. But, if we talk to them right now, we get these masks! Yay! They don't really serve any purpose, unfortunately. They're just kind of fun little nifty things if you want them. Uh, this rum face makes you look a little happier. You'll look cool while you're swimming if you wear this mask. And with its charming eyes, it makes a great lady's disguise. Oh, Link. Oh, Link. You're girly enough as it is. Don't even. <laughs> Alright, so... No, I don't want to borrow that. Alright, so ba that's how... That's basically all there is to do here, technically. We have all the masks that we can really get. Um, but we do want to investigate this Mask of Truth a little bit more. So that's something. But for now, the next place that we need to stop off at is... Kokiri Forest. So let's go ahead and head on over there. Hey guys, I'm home! <laughs> Yeah, all these guys must be getting, like, super tired of me just showing up out of nowhere. It's like I never left, right? <laughs> hey! This this platform actually gave me the five rupees! Yeah, you're only, like, 17 episodes late, game. Thanks, I appreciate that. Alright, so, first things first, what we want to do is come over to this little soil patch, and, you guessed it, we want to go ahead and plant a magic bean. There we go, you grow up big and strong, you little weed. Alright, so we don't- What, Navi? Yeah, whatever, I'm not doing that right now. Doing some- some backtracking right now, fairy. Leave me alone, please. Don't- don't question my motives. Anyway, so, with that done... Yeah, that- that was a really quick errand in the- in the little village itself. There I go saying village again, but I guess it is a little village. But, ooh, I forgot about these things. All right, so what we want to do is pop on over over here. And remember those skeletalas that we couldn't get before? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get them all now. But first, what I want to do is sit over here. Is it over? Yes, it is. If we come over to the, wow, voice crack. If we come over to this gossip stone, if we check it, uh, what do you suppose this stone is? I feel like it's trying to tell us something. All right, uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know about the fairy. If we'd actually wear the Mask of Truth and talk to it, responding to your mask, the strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that the Kokiri are always followed by small fa- Yeah, yeah. Not late to the party at all. Not one bit. <laughs> I mean, considering I only got the ability to talk to you like not even 10 minutes ago, that's a little bit sad. But anyway, there's one thing that I do want to show off very briefly, and that involves this. The bombs. Now, this is actually really, really funny. First off, what we want to do is drop a bomb on it. 
yeah. These gossip stones do different things based on what you do to them. And this is kind of funny. It takes off like a freaking UFO. Like it's 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 way up there. It's like gone. It went to space. See you later, little gossip stone. <laughs> Alright, so now that we showed off what the Mask of Truth can actually do, let's go ahead and head into the Deku Tree and find that lost Skultula. Normally I don't like fast forwarding too much, but just in case you've forgotten where these Skultulas are, I feel like it would be useful. So, here we go! Alright, here we go! This is exactly where I want to be. Now you see those up there. Can I actually hit that with a bomb? You have to bomb those things up there. Nope, you can't do it with a normal bomb. Alright, so you outright need a bomb chew for this. Equip your bomb chew and then drop it and let it go. There we go. Sweet. So, up, 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 and oh, can I squeeze past this? Yes, I can. Sweet. Alright, so now take out your boomerang and get rid of it. Yay! And it's ours! Alright! Now onward to the next one! Okay, I will say straight up that this one is kind of a jerk. This one is kind of really a jerk. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of all of the enemies in here, first and foremost. And now, you'll notice, once I kill this... I'm out of Deku Seeds?! I'm seriously out of Deku Seeds! How did I run out of Deku Seeds? How?! Well then, I was a lot more... a lot more loose with my Deku Seeds than I thought I was. Alright, uh, yeah, I don't need to shoot that. I really don't, I'm gonna say, what are you doing? Alright, anyway, as I was saying, this room is a jerk. This room is a jerk. So, if we come over here, you'll notice that Nevi is turning green all over the place. Like, she'll even go up there and point out, like, hey, there's things over here, and there is a golden skull way up there. What we need to do is play the Song of Time. That is the wrong button combination. Yeah, it's really, really weird, but we have to play the Song of Time, and that makes basically a Song of Time, not Song of Time, but Time Block staircase all the way up there. It's really, really weird, and I would never think to actually do that. I would sooner come here with like one of the later items, like a boomerang, but even the boomerang will not reach it. You have to come over here with the, with the, um, time blocks and then do this from up here or else you will not reach it. It's very strange and I hate this room. It's kind of a jerk. <laughs> it's really, really a jerk. Not not gonna lie. Alright, so now that we've done that, there's only one place left to go. I did not mean to do that, but whatever. Um, it is go into this northeast room and after this we will be done. We will be done. All right, and we go, and then, you know what? You know what? I feel like doing this the fancy way. I feel like doing this the fancy way. You get away from me, kill them all with fire. Yeah, yeah, you're looking at me like I'm, I'm a jerk, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aha! Everything's dead. Kill them all with fire. Ah, oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> All right, so now we got the last golden skull to love from this dungeon. We are now 100% done with the Deku Tree. Yeah, it was a little bit ridiculous that we had to wait this freaking long to actually get everything from this place. But, oh well, what can you do, right? Now that we're done with this, we can head on outside, and I will spare you guys, guys to travel and see you there. I did not mean to step on that switch. Run away! Yay! It's daylight out! <laughs> Alright, so we're back in Kokiri Forest now. And 
I think we've done enough for one episode. Yeah, that was that was quite a bit backtracking that we've already done, but we have a little bit more to do. But our next stop in the next episode will be the Lost Woods. So we're not leaving this area quite yet, but almost, almost. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Messina love!